the wonderful Suk Ojla. Everyone, my name is Suk, which is short for Sukjit, which is Sanskrit for you're never going to find it on a <laughs> key ring in a gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of successful women my age, I live in a house share <laughs> <laughs> with my parents. <laughs> <laughs> it's essentially like living in the most passive aggressive Airbnb of all time, except <laughs> you can't even leave them a bad review. <laughs> Decor outdated. <laughs> Furniture covered in plastic. Host keeps trying to feed me whilst giving me weight loss advice. Two stars. <laughs> <laughs> My mum very kindly made sure that I knew exactly what the deal was. From a very young age, she told me that this was just a temporary arrangement. So she sat me down when I was a kid and she said, This is not your real home. <laughs> Soon you will be married and you'll go to your husband's home, and that is your real home. <laughs> I was like, I'm in year five. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing the Tudors next term. <laughs> they say one is the loneliest number, don't they? Yeah. As somebody who lives with their parents, I can tell you that three is the loneliest number. <laughs> you don't know what lonely is until you've spent every Friday night for the past five years indoors with your mum watching Gardener's World, both of you silently lusting over Monty Don and his geraniums. <laughs> and if you're under 40 and you got that joke, congratulations, you're lonely too. <laughs> I don't like to tell people in a relationship that I'm single because they give you that look, don't they? You know the look? They look at you like you're a three-legged dog standing outside of butchers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's the same look that I imagine people give when they're donating to a GoFundMe page. I'm such a great person. <laughs> no, I don't wish to donate anonymously. <laughs> Everybody needs to know how great I am. <laughs> I also don't like telling people in a relationship that I'm single because I tell them I'm single, they hear, let me give you dating advice. <laughs> Listen, yeah? Don't worry if you don't fancy him straight away, yeah? It's me and Raj, yeah? I didn't fancy him when I first met him. And now look at us. We've been married five years, we've got two kids. I still don't fancy him. <laughs> and uh, quite a different childhood uh, to a lot of my friends growing up, because we didn't have a lot of money. You know, we didn't really get to go on holidays. We used to dread going to school after the six weeks holidays, because all the white kids would be like, we went to the Costa del Sol. <laughs> all the well-off Asian kids would be like, we went to Canada to see my cousins. <laughs> And I'd be like, well, we all took the coach up to Bradford. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to just sit indoors and watch whatever my uncle had recorded off the telly. <laughs> and amazingly, the most depressing part of that sentence isn't the word Bradford. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been absolutely fantastic. I've been so cultural. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.